Good morning, Margaret Newman here. I am the author of Another Dimension, The Ultimate Amalgam, where it's collide tales of Captain Neutra, perfection with other dimensions into light. Welcome to my podcast of the hymn book, Savior of the World. We're in the sixth chapter, and this is the, the seventh song, the loveliest of all. It is an ascension song. It speaks of the exaltation of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he enters heaven, uh, the gates are lifted up. The, they lift up their heads. They, not the gates are lifted up. The, the, the gates lift up their heads. And the people clap their hands. For God is gone out with a shout of joy. The Lord with trumpet blast. Now we're going to do this. And um, we're going to see the Lord Jesus uh, or uh, as he or um he called he's the beloved son of the father he 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 called the disciples he seduced the disciples he seduced us he also walked upon the waters he's the king of glory and he saves uh, with salvation he comes with salvation in his wings and he is mighty to save our father now um the Lord Jesus says that uh, uh, when I be lifted up from the earth, I shall draw all men unto me, our Father. And now in the Song of Solomon, we are talking about he is lovely. He's the loveliest of all. He's beautiful. He's wonderful. And so um, in the Song of Solomon, um, he says that... Uh, um, uh, this is my beloved this is my friend his mouth is most sweet and uh, he in and he feeds among the lilies I am my beloved and my beloved is mine uh, and I am my beloved and he's his desire is toward me Abba father uh, Abba father so uh, my beloved son the, the Lord Jesus came unto John to be baptized uh, of John in the in the Jordan, and when he was baptized, he he coming out of the water, straight away coming out of the water, the heavens were opened, and the the spirit of God descending upon him like a dove, and 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 resting upon him, and and. And a voice came out of heaven saying, uh, This is my beloved son in whom I am. No, he says unto him, You are my beloved son. Thou art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. So the father was speaking to the Lord Jesus. So he saw, it is the Lord Jesus who saw the heavens open and um, and the spirit like a dove descending upon him and the father endorsed him this came to fortify him for his ministry that truly he is the beloved son of god our father and so after six days or uh, um, and jesus took with him uh peter and james and john and unto a high mountain apart by themselves and he was transfigured uh, before them and his raiment uh, was shining and then um, it um, it was exceeding uh, bright uh, even as uh, as white as the snow and and more than even any father on earth could white them and they appeared unto them or Elias and Moses and they talked with Jesus and then there was a cloud that overshadowed them and the voice was, was heard out of the cloud saying this is my beloved son hear him Abba father and Peter says that uh, we have not followed uh, cunningly devised uh, fables when we made known unto you the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the power of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received of God the Father glory and honor, honor and glory. When they came unto him um, a voice from the excellent glory, Thou art my beloved son, uh, um, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. This voice which came to him from heaven, we heard when we were with him in the holy mount, Abba Father. 
So that is by tradition, uh, Mount Tabor, uh, the Mount of the Transfiguration. Now that was uh, my beloved son. Let's go to you. You called me. You called me. The Lord Jesus called his disciples, and they left everything and followed him. They could not resist him, our Father. So when walking by the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw two of his disciples, uh, two brethren. I mean, uh, Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, and they were casting their net into the sea, for they were fishers. And the Lord Jesus said unto them. Uh, Follow me, for and I will make you fishers of men. And straight away they left their nets and followed him. And and also he saw two other brethren, uh, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, uh, mending their nets uh, with Zebedee their father in a ship, mending their nets, and he called them. And immediately they left the sheep and their father and followed him, our father. And so Jesus went unto uh, all Galilee in their synagogues, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the uh, the gospel of the, the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Abba Father, Abba Father, now you seduced me. When John was with two of his disciples, he saw Jesus looking upon Jesus walking by. He said to his, he said, behold the Lamb of God. And the two disciples heard him speak and they followed Jesus. And when Jesus turned around and saw them following him, he, he said unto them, what seek thou? And they answered him, uh, Rabbi, which is to say, or uh, to be interpreted, Master, where dwell thou? And he said unto them, Come and see. And so uh, they came and saw where he dwelled, and they abode with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour of the Father. So uh, the disciples that followed Jesus, uh, he is our wonderful he is the one who justifies the ungodly of a father so uh, also when uh, uh, in, in the day of the resurrection two of the disciples or um, uh, Cleopas and the other disciple uh, they were walking on the way and and afterward Jesus uh, straight away uh, when they came into the house or um, and they knew him and so he vanished from their sight and and they and they they spoke they said to one another uh, didn't our heart burn within us when he walked with us by the way and opened the scriptures to us our father so and when he was uh, opening the scriptures oh, wow it was the word of god speaking unto them how that christ should have suffered and uh, entered into his glory and that by him uh, repentance remission of sins we preach unto the whole world and even the light unto the gentiles times of a father now uh, Peter uh, he appeared also uh, at the time of the resurrection in the day of the resurrection also he appeared unto them when they were okay that was after many days uh, that we call it the day of the resurrection because it is the reason Lord that is uh, he appeared in, to his disciples in um, on various occasions and there were when the morning was come uh, he stood on the shore and there were uh, and he he came okay he asked them children have you any meat and they said no and he said unto them cast your net on the other side of the ship on the right side of the ship and you shall find and they cast their nets and now they could not uh, they were not able to draw for the multitude of fishes now the beloved they, they the beloved apostle, the, the disciple whom uh, uh, Jesus loved, said unto Peter, It is the Lord. And when Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded himself, uh, he girded his. Uh, his coat on him for he was naked and he cast himself into the sea and so the lord jesus said unto them come and dine and none of them asked him who are thou uh, that uh, they knew knowing that it was the lord our father now you walked upon the water so the lord jesus is mighty he commands the the elements of nature uh the way he walks upon the water and when um there arose uh, a great uh, wind of our uh, 
storm, a storm of wind, and it, the waves beat onto the ship and to, uh, the boat, the ship was full of water and there he was in the hinder part of the ship uh, asleep in the pillow and so um and they woke him up and they asked and they told him a uh, master care thou not that we perish and he woke up uh, and then he rebuked the wind and he said unto the sea be still uh, peace be still and the wind ceased and the um, and there was great calm and they wondered and they said uh, what manner of man is this that even uh, the the sea and the the wind they obey him our father and so also uh, you know, when he walked upon the water this is when he okay he calmed the, the sea and the wind the wind and the sea and then now he walked upon the waters he had made the disciples go before him and he saw them um, toiling uh, laboring and toiling and then um, for the wind was contrary unto them and then he came upon when uh, about the fourth watch of the night he came upon them walking on upon the sea and and he would have passed them and then uh, they saw him walking on the sea and they they supposed that it was a spirit and then they they were afraid and they cried out and he, for they saw him uh, walking and then he 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 spoke unto them and said, uh, "Be not afraid. Be of good cheer. It is I. Or uh, be not afraid." And so um, he or uh, came unto them unto uh, into the ship, and immediately the wind ceased, and they were uh, sore amazed in themselves. And then they wondered, uh, "What manner of man is this, our Father?" Now the King of Glory. Okay, the Psalm Psalm twenty four. Uh, David says, or uh, I don't know if it's David, but uh, Psalm twenty four. Okay, who shall ascend unto the um, and unto the mountain of the Lord uh, who shall stand into his holy place he that has clean hands and a pure heart and who has not lifted his soul unto vanity and who has not sworn deceitfully he shall receive of the Lord the blessing he shall receive the blessing of the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation this is wonderful you receive the blessing uh, and then righteousness and then salvation what does it wonderful now lift up your heads you guys even be lifted up you everlasting doors for the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the Lord uh, strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle who is this king of glory the lord of hosts he is the king of glory our father now he we're talking about the ascension when the lord jesus has won the victory and he is entering into heaven and saying that lift up your heads you gay this is the king of glory he is mighty to save our father now oh clap your hands all you people now this is psalm 47 i think maybe or nine or 49 or 47 okay um, uh, clap your hands all you people uh, shout unto God with a shout of uh, triumph with a voice of triumph for uh, God, uh, for the Lord God Most High is terrible, our <laughs> Father. He is a great king over all the earth. Um, now, God is God of with, he's gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises unto God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto uh, our king. Sing praises. For God is the great king over all the earth. Sing you praises with understanding. God reigns over the heathen. God sits on the throne of His Holiness, our Father. Okay, these are the ascension psalms. And then, or uh, okay, or uh, we go to He says He comes with salvation in in, in His wings. Or uh, okay, or uh, okay, okay, we begin our. Uh, Go through, go through the gates, prepare you the way of the people, cast up, cast up uh, the highways, or gather up the stones, or, okay, what right again, gather up, cast up, or lift up uh, a standard for the people, behold the Lord, uh, 
the Lord has proclaimed unto the ends of the earth, say you to the daughter of Zion, behold, your salvation comes and his reward with him and his work before him of a father. So this is his salvation. He's mighty to save. Uh, and as Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah, Isaiah, we're going to continue with Isaiah also. Drop down, okay, the Lord said, or uh, he wondered, uh, he, he was... He saw that there was no man, and he wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his uh, arm brought him salvation, and his righteousness is, it sustained him. For he or um, for he uh, put uh, he puts on the garments of uh, righteousness and a helmet. No, he put on okay uh, a breastplate of righteousness, and then a. Uh, for he was clothed with the with a breastplate of righteousness, and righteousness as a breastplate, and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on or the garments of vengeance, and he was clad with uh, with zeal as a clock of a father. So uh, he saw that there was no salvation, no man, no savior, no intercessor. Himself, himself, he brought salvation. His right hand, the Lord Jesus Christ, he came and saved the people. And then, uh, what a great salvation in the Lord we had. We we wanted just Him, only Him to save us because no man could do better. Not our righteousness could not do anything. His salvation alone saves us, our Father. Now, our. Um, Oh, clap. Okay, okay. Or uh, drop down, uh, you heavens, from above, and let the skies uh, form down righteousness of a father. Uh, behold, or uh, the, let the earth open and let it uh, let righteousness spring forth, let salvation spring up from the earth and righteousness altogether uh i the lord have created it out of father we have the blessing we have righteousness and salvation this is wonderful good news this is all we've always wanted the lord is our righteousness and our salvation in jesus christ our lord our father Okay, uh, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, and my soul shall be joyful in my God, for He has, um, He has uh, covered me. He has, uh, okay, He has. Uh, clothed me with the garments of salvation, and has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as the as the bride, as the bridegroom decks himself with her ornaments, and as the bride adorns herself with her jewels, for the for as the earth brings forth her bird, and the garden causes the things that are sown daring to to spring up, uh, to spring forth, so the Lord shall cause the righteousness uh, to uh, spring for righteousness and praise and salvation to spring up from uh, to spring forth uh, from the earth. Abba Father. Uh, so, uh, okay, let's do this. Uh, mighty to say, the Lord your God in the midst of you is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over you with um, with singing, Abba Father. For the Lord has laid has, has made bare his holy arm, and uh, uh, he has laid bare, he has made are bare his holy arms among in the midst of all the nations and all the ends of the earth have seen his salvation and when he speaks of the servant uh, the lord jesus in Isaiah, he says that it is a uh, he says uh, it is a light thing for me to that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of jacob and to restore the preserves of israel I will also make you a light unto the Gentiles, that you should be my salvation to the ends of the earth. Abba Father, the Lord Jesus is not only the Savior of Israel, He's the Savior of humanity, the Savior of the world, past, present, future, all of us, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, and wherever humanity is in, on every uh, any planet in the galaxy, in the universe, uh, in infinity, uh, in eternity, He saves all, Abba Father. And so He says, "I will mention the loving kindnesses of the Lord." Uh, is it Jeremiah? Okay. 
and the praises of the Lord are according to all that the Lord has bestowed on us and uh, uh, his great and of his great uh, goodness towards the house of Israel uh, which he has bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindnesses our father he is so good we are talking about loving kindness and mercies his great goodness his praise his, his the multitude of his loving kindness is our Father. The Lord is good at all times, our Father. Now, the loveliest of all. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> The loveliest of all, his name is the great I am. He walks and he talks and he loves forever. He is Lord, suffering tough all. He is mighty and awesome in worship. Here he comes with salvation in his his wings. He runs, he sings, and he laughs. Lift up your heads, oh you gates, even be lifted up you everlasting doors. But the King of glory shall come in, the Lord mighty to save us. The loveliest of all. Lovely one, you're the loveliest of all. At Jordan, you see, you me, you told me, come and see where you dwell at, and I abode with you. Lovely one, as you taught by the waters, my heart began to beat faster. Your eyes met mine. I was that at your side. I was speechless. I wondered who you are, and I will sing your praises. Man will talk of your fame. You are exalted, and your name is forever, oh, lovely one, the loveliest of all. His name is the Great I Am. He walks, and he talks, and he loves forever. He is Lord, sovereign over all. He is mighty and awesome in worship. Here he comes with salvation in his wings. He runs, he sings, and he laughs. Lift up your hands, oh you gates. Even be lifted up, you everlasting doors. For the King of glory shall come in. The Lord mighty to save us. The loveliest of all. Lovely one, we will bless you forever. You walked upon the waters. You called me and your love pierced my soul. And uh, I followed you. Lovely one, you are lovely forever. At Mount Tabor, we saw your glory lifted up from the cross to the throne. You draw a man to you, and I will sing your praises. Man will joy in your grace. You have won salvation by yourself forever, oh, lovely one. The 
loveliest of all. His name is the great I am. He walks and he talks and he loves forever. He is Lord, sovereign over all. He is mighty and awesome in worship. Here he comes with salvation in his wings. He runs, he sings, and he shouts, lift up your heads, oh you gates, heaven be lifted up, you everlasting yours, for the King of glory shall come in, the Lord, mighty to save us, the Lord, lift up your heads, oh you gates, even be lifted up you everlasting doors, for the King of glory shall come in, the Lord mighty to save us, the loveliest of all. Abba Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the loveliest of all. You have saved us to the uttermost. You are a high priest. We worship you. Thank you. You have made us righteousness in you. Abba Father, you are the one who justifies the ungodly. And you do not justify the godly. Every man who comes to you, you do not cast away. You accept all and you and you justify us. Thank you, Lord God, Abba Father. Blessed be the Lord God. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, blessed with all blessings, singing the Lord, changing the world. All things have become new. Bye-bye.